Hey there, this week there's been a flood of movies from Hollywood and around the globe. Yes, we also know about that One Direction movie set to hit theatres in a day or two. But since we're all things purely cinema, we've got some movies that are totally worth your time. Stick around for our movie picks this week. You're watching Talking Films with me, Kim. I Declare War is the result of summer war games between neighbourhood kids that turns deadly when jealousy and betrayal enter the mix. While the narrative meanders on occasion, the conceit can seem repetitious and the editing a little loose. Nevertheless, the movie effectively gets into your head and under your skin. This is the moment of truth. Then we have Our Nixon, which is an eye-opening documentary about the Nixon White House as seen from the inside. This film is composed of home movies shot by the President's staff, accompanied by later TV interviews and priceless audio from the secret tapes. It is a must-see for anyone interested in American All history. The people on this earth are truly one. He's made the I loved what I did. These friendships are golden. God bless America. And God bless each every one of you. You're a strong man. God damn it, and I love you. Mark Wahlberg just keeps getting sexier. Watch him in his latest flick, Two Guns, which is based on smart callbacks of loyalty, regularly interrupted by violence. Wahlberg and Denzel Washington are so good together and the movie is loud, fun and quick moving. Who are they? Well, yesterday I said they were my family. Today they kind of want to kill me. Yeah, I understand the feeling. What I ever do to you besides shoot me? Three times over. Have I properly incentivized you? More than you know. Make it rain. This week in World Cinema, we make our first stop in France. Grand Central is an undigested romantic subplot that contaminates the core of director Rebecca Slotowski's drama about love in a nuclear power plant. Okay, I'm going to stay here. is a German romantic comedy that presents a modern version of the Grimm's fairy tale by Hans and Luck in a hippie accompanied musical milieu of the 1970s. It focuses on the journey of a young man who is described as friendly, relaxed and fairly disinterested. Du hast alles verloren. Das ganze Gepäck, das ganze Geld. Macht dir das nichts aus? Also ich bin 46 Jahre alt, ich habe sowas noch nie erlebt. Ich habe keinen Bock mehr auf diese Odyssee. Mach's gut, okay? Ja. Kauf dir mal einen neuen Anzug. From India is Satyagraha, a Bollywood political thriller directed by Prakash Jha. It stars Amitabh Bachchan, Ajay Devgan, Kareena Kapoor and Arjun Rampal. The film deals with the movement of the middle class to renegotiate democracy. It's the story of a man who is a firm believer of the Gandhian principles. Okay. 
For this week's vintage movie, we picked director Fritz Lang's masterpiece, Metropolis. The 1927 sci-fi movie has a place in world history since it became the first film ever to be registered in the memory of the World Register of UNESCO in 2001. Adolf Hitler was said to have loved this movie. Few films of any era offer so much varied food for thought, cinematically and politically. This film took almost a year and a half to shoot, but that only meant quite some awards to its name too. Check it out. That's all for today. See you next week on another episode of Talking Films. Bye.